Water is nature's most precious and priceless gift to all living beings on this planet. Life depends on water and there is no alternative for it. It not only quenches our thirst, but is essential for the growth of flowers, fruits, food grains, and the production of fiber, fuel, etc. The demand for water has only increased with the modern lifestyle and the present day industrial requirements. In other words, water plays a pivotal role in all walks of life. Ancient civilizations flourished beside perennial rivers and even today, urbanization, agriculture and industrial development are found close to natural or man-made water sources like rivers, streams and tanks. The availability of water is an index to the development of an area. In peninsular area, aquifer groundwater has been overexploited. The same is the case with the water from rivers and reservoirs. Hence, the hot summer months are a period of trial for the urban and rural people the wild and domestic animals as well as plants. Groundwater reserves are overexploited when people draw out more water than has been replenished in that year's monsoon. This imbalance has made the availability of water from the deep aquifers in the summer months even more difficult. Water is available on the surface in rainy season. During this period, it should be collected and conserved. National water policy too has emphasized the need for conservation of this scarce and priceless resource. In central and southern India, a steep decline in the availability of groundwater is a major problem. The solution for this problem is to adopt integrated techniques of artificial water recharging and conservation of ground aquifers. In this region, rainwater is the only source of water and it is available only in the two, three months of the monsoon season in a year. Two main techniques of speedy artificial recharge of groundwater or aquifer by rainwater have been adopted. Technique of water spreading, technique of water injection. The water spreading technique being adopted on a large scale in Madhya Pradesh is known as the indoor method of water conservation in and around fields. For conserving rainwater in and around cultivated fields, buns of 50 to 70 cm height are made around 1 or 2 hectares of land. Soil for the bun is obtained by digging a trench along the bun line with a depth of 50 to 70 cm and a width of 60 to 75 cm. Depending on the slope, one meter length area is left undug at a distance of 30 to 35 meter to serve the purpose of a bun in a trench to help impound or hold water in each section. Moreover, at the center of the trench, a deeper pit is made 
exposing subsoil or murram through which water percolates down to accumulate in ground water reserve. Runoff water from the fields which collects in the trench gets time for deep percolation so as to get conserved in the soil aquifer. Soil from the field brought by the runoff water gets accumulated in the trench and can be returned to the field during yearly cleaning and maintenance work. The indoor method of water conservation in this way helps to conserve soil, nutrients and organic matter in and around fields. To enhance the percolation of water into the soil, there should be a provision for trenches in afforested areas. A distance of 15 to 20 meters should be maintained between the trenches. On hillocks and slopy ground, digging of trenches along the contour is desirable. Trenches may be filled with available biomass and covered with soil. Biomass on decomposition serves the purpose of plant nutrition and also it is useful in wasteland development. Moreover, because of porosity, water percolates down. In flat land area and in the strips along the roads, shallow saucer-like beds are useful in increasing water percolation. Swale not only increases water percolation but also accelerates the rate of growth of the plants. Certain industries at Devas have successfully used the pile or column method in open grounds or parking places for artificially augmenting the rate of water recharge. Round holes of 25 to 30 centimeter diameter and a depth of 3 to 4 meter is piled by an auger at a distance of 3 meters. One third portion of these piles is filled with coarse pebbles. The middle portion is filled with medium sized pebbles of 2 to 3 centimeters and the upper one third portion is filled with bajri. Rainwater collected in the ground percolates down at a faster speed without any obstacle to get accumulated in the aquifer. Piles or columns are useful in augmenting the percolation rate of water from areas where the soil has become compact and also from areas where silt has accumulated. It is necessary to collect the rainwater of a particular area in its own watershed on the surface or in the aquifer of that place. It is possible to achieve this objective. College of Agriculture Indore and Wheat Research Station Indore have taken up bunding in drainage channels or trenches. We can deepen the nalas by cleaning it and using the soil, boulders and muram found in it to make check dams. The velocity of the flow of water can be checked or brought to zero velocity by check dams at regular intervals. If at a particular point water velocity is high, at that point a stone slab or boulders and a wire net are used. By this simple and cost effective technique, it becomes possible to conserve field and village water on the surface in the trenches or nalas 
which gradually percolate down to aquifer reserves. Adoption of this technique has registered a three to four fold increase in water output from wells to tube wells. Rainwater from a watershed flows out from a point to join a river. To keep a village water in that village itself, old ponds and tanks should be maintained and fresh tanks should be dug. By the adoption of this technique on a large scale, it has been possible at several places to maintain the groundwater table. At the same time, conservation of water on the surface for a longer time keeps the environment humid and makes water available to wildlife, birds and aquatic creatures.